Good morning, and welcome to the eighth annual AWE. I am so proud to say we have been part of AWE since the very beginning. So, Ori, I am taking you up on that robe offer. I, I want it, and I hope that thing is for real. It has been an incredibly exciting year for AR. Just after we left this event last year, Pokemon Go hit the scene. And while it might not have been the best example of AR technically, I can't think of anything that did more to drive mainstream awareness. Additionally, Apple CEO Tim Cook started talking about AR in a big way. He said it's an idea as big as the smartphone and has the ability to change people's lives. Leading social platforms have made clear the camera is central to their strategies, and they too are adding AR for photo and video effects to further drive mainstream adoption. And just recently, Google and Microsoft had made new announcements about key enablers for AR on mobile devices. So a couple takeaways here. Number one, AR adoption is gonna be driven by devices in your hand. Number two, AR is a bigger opportunity longer term than VR. Now, while many of us in this room have believed this for quite some time, now the world does. And the world is acting accordingly. Today, V4 is the most widely used AR development platform and is used in a majority of all AR software that exists. And as far as we can tell, we have more data than anyone in the industry on AR adoption. And I'd like to share some of that with you now. So let's start by taking a look at developers. At AWE last year, we looked at this picture for growth from 2014 to 2015, 38% more V4A developers. Pretty healthy growth rate. Well, check out what happened in 2016. Doubled it, 76% 76, 76 growth. Now, the bulk of that was in China, where growth more than doubled, followed by Europe and Southeast Asia. And we're proud to say that there are now more than 350,000 registered developers as part of the Euphoria ecosystem. Now let's take a look at apps and app stores. This is a picture we had last year. We were looking at 7% growth for AR apps and app stores and thinking, oh boy. And we posited, well, there's less experimentation happening by marketers. Some of the investment that was going to AR projects is maybe going to VR. Well, if you were concerned then, don't need to be concerned now. We've rebounded to a very, very healthy, healthy growth rate. And in fact, for Vuforia overall, there's now more than 40,000 AR apps that have been published to Google Play in the App Store. So I think it's safe to say this AR thing has been around a little bit. And even more exciting, more than 45,000 apps are currently in development worldwide. 45,000. That is a tremendous amount of developer activity and momentum. Now, you may ask, what are those apps? What kind of apps are those that are showing up in app stores? So let's take a look at that. These are actually app store categories consolidated from both the app store and Google Play. You'll see more than half of the applications fall within education and entertainment. And this is consistent with what we've seen in the past. The key driver for AR and app stores has really been around kids. And a lot of that is at the intersection of toys and games. Now, one of the other things that we get asked a lot is, you know, what's going on with eyewear and glasses? And we're all excited about this being a consumer phenomenon. But today, we're really still in the early stages of using these devices in enterprise. But I'll tell you, that enterprise use is accelerating. And just the last year, it grew 158%. In fact, there's nearly 5,000 apps that were created in 2016. Now, these are not in app stores. They're largely enterprise use, but more, or nearly 5,000. And these are supported with devices, great devices from Epson, Microsoft, and ODG. All right, so I'm gonna shift gears a little bit, talk about what's coming in v to help drive adoption further. And let's stay on this theme of eyewear for a minute. We are extremely excited to announce a new partner to the Vuforia ecosystem, Vuzix. We'll be supporting the Vuzix M300, the first monocular device ever for Vuforia, and this is going to give developers an incredible option for developing and deploying enterprise solutions. Now, many AR experiences today depend on object recognition 
to attach content to everything from toys to industrial machinery. And with Euphoria, we provide a range of tools to recognize objects of various kinds. But as many of you know, there are certain objects that we can't recognize because they don't have certain visual characteristics without the use of some type of marker. Well, we're changing that today with Euphoria model targets. Model targets enable object recognition by shape. And they bring a new tool for developers, the model target generator. This tool allows you to import a CAD file or even an FBX file and turn that into a target that you can use in your application. Let's see what it looks like. Here you'll notice we're recognizing this motorcycle by shape. And watch how this device, even under vigorous movement, that content stays very, very firmly anchored. Not only are we recognizing by shape with model targets, we are bringing the most robust tracking we have ever brought with this feature. Extremely excited about it. OK. So the result is you can augment a whole new class of objects without markers, objects that lack visual detail or might change in appearance over time from wear and tear or under different lighting conditions. And model targets are available under an early access program now. You can apply on the website. All right. While most apps are attaching content to specific objects, we'd really like that content to, inter content to interact with the environment around us. We want things to bounce off the ground, tables, walls, and so on. And as many of you know, doing this well requires devices with depth-aware camera technologies. And thanks to our friends at Google, Lenovo, and Asus, we actually have some commercial devices. Thank you. And just a few weeks ago, we announced support for them. So interacting with environments also requires a new way to look at the world in Vuforia. We call that smart terrain. Smart terrain provides a real-time description of what you're looking at, both objects and surfaces reconstructed from the environment. You can think of it as a scene graph for the real world. And as you can see in this video, it brings a new level of creative freedom that unleashes content from objects to the environment around us. Now, you will see us continue to introduce smart terrain support for other devices with depth-aware camera technologies as they become available. Very cool. As part of our mission to democratize AR, we look for opportunities where multiple technologies evolve to the point where new experiences become possible. And today, we've reached that point with an experience that we've been excited about for quite some time. Not only is it a great application of AR technology, it's a fundamentally new form of communication that enables remote presence. We call it Project Chalk. Project Chalk enables two people in different locations to have interactions as if they were together. It starts with an experience similar to a video chat, where one user looks through the camera of another. But then something special happens. You can draw or chalk on top of the object your friend sees, and your friend will see the drawing right where you intended it. It's as if you're able to write on the world as someone else sees it. This is crazy powerful. And to show you how it works live, I'd like to introduce JJ and Nicole to the stage. Come on up, guys. And for those of you who don't know, JJ moonlights at NASA, where he designs nuclear power supplies for Mars. I'm not sure, Jay, but I did watch The Martian three times. <laughs> three times? Three times. That'll do. All right, so as it turns out, JJ is not a real nuclear scientist, and Nicole is not an astronaut. But go with me for a minute and assume that JJ is at mission control and Nicole has got a real issue on Mars. And watch the screens to see what JJ sees. Take it away, guys. JJ, remember when you thought it was a great idea to put a nuclear reactor on Mars? Yeah, I do. Well, now I'm getting this error message that I just haven't seen before. Huh. S-O-L. Yeah, I, I don't think that's a good one, Nicole. But I think I do know how to fix it, and I'm going to show you how to fix it with Project Chalk. The first thing that I'm going to need you to do 
is head over and activate this cooling tube right here. Roger that. All right. Engaged. You're doing good so far. This next one is going to be a little bit trickier. Take a look at the control panel on the other side of the generator. OK. Now here, we're going to need you to circle this button here and this button here at the exact same time. I'm going to have to set my tablet down. Can you believe we don't have eyewear on Mars yet? <laughs> here we go. JJ, still SOL. Still SOL. Uh, you are, uh, you're sounding pretty panicked there, Nicole. Now I'm actually going to jump over to another view that I saved earlier in our session and take another look. Yeah, you know what? I did miss another cooling tube. I'm going to circle it for you now. Oh, JJ. Nicole, pick up your tablet and take a look. <gasps> Got it. Yep, it's this one right here. Thanks. All right, I think I got doing? it now. Let's see. All right, well, it's telling me to run. Hang on, I got to run 33 times. Wait, wait, here it comes. <laughs> oh, sample tech should say we did it. We saved Mars. <laughs> All, All right, right. Okay. good job, Nicole. Great Talk job, to you later. <laughs> Clearly, the moral of the story is you do not want to be SOL on Mars. Now, in all seriousness, some of us have seen this concept before, but largely in an enterprise context. We think this goes much broader. We believe Project Chalk delivers a capability that everyone on the planet will use at some point. And from the time they're a child until maybe they can't take care of themselves anymore. Let me give you some examples. I'm sure many of you are busy parents, maybe traveling or otherwise away when you'd like to be with your kids. Well, Project Chalk will let you be closer in a number of ways. You might use Chalk to assist with homework and provide some quick help. Or maybe you're chalking your son or daughter because they're working on a school project and need a little direction or maybe some inspiration. And picture chalking with your seven-year-old sitting cross-legged with his latest Lego model creation. He could share that play creation with you. Or maybe even grandma and grandpa get in on the action. Now, I'm one of those people who likes to try the latest gadgets. Lots of them. I also like to recommend the good ones uh, to friends and family. And the downside of that is when friends and family have a hard time installing, configuring, or using it, um, I get the call. This sound familiar to anybody? Project Chalk is ideal for these situations, but not just for calling me or for calling a friend. This could also be used to call a handyman or the store I bought the product from. Or even better, I should be using it to contact the product manufacturer directly. Doesn't this sound better than a frustrating phone call? And beyond the latest IoT gadget, there's plenty of other appliances in the home that can be challenging for family, friends, guests, or even Airbnb guests. Now, as we get older, and technology moves faster, it becomes harder to keep up with new things in our environment and how to use them. And even our existing environment can become further complicated as our minds don't serve us quite how they used to. And I bet many of you have answered phone calls from parents or loved ones with challenges like this, the remote control, the router, or maybe it's the cable box, or maybe it's even something more serious, like a medical device or equipment that could indicate or prevent a life-threatening situation. Now, the sum of these challenges becomes more serious with age, until the point we can't live alone or need someone to live with us. And I think all of us would like to stay independent as long as possible. So for the more than 600 million people on the planet that are over 65, we think Project Chalk has the potential to do just that with the help of loved ones and caregivers. Now, I've talked a bunch about personal use, but let's not lose sight of Project Chalk for business. Whether you're a service technician or a salesperson, or if you do your job anywhere outside of the office, you will come across situations where Project Chalk can make your job easier 
and the outcome better for your customer and your employer. Project Chalk is not yet the product, but it will be later this year. And it's coming to all platforms we support with Euphoria, phones, tablets, and eyewear. And it's coming in two forms. First, we're gonna make Project Chalk available as a standalone app in app stores, initially for iOS and Android. Second, we think Project Chalk is a platform level capability that belongs in a lot of apps. So we're also gonna make it available in Euphoria SDKs. And we're gonna start with support for Unity developers. Both will be available this fall. Both will be included in an early access program. And if you would like to get in on that, please visit euphoria.com slash project chalk. So to wrap up, last year was an amazing year for AR. And the coming one promises to be even more exciting as AR moves further into the mainstream. And this is not only an important moment for AR, it's an important moment for computing. We are absolutely on the verge of this paradigm shift that changes how we interact with information. And there haven't been a lot of those. The PC, the web, smartphone. And AR can be bigger. So AR, this could be the device that means I don't need the rest. That's tremendous. Now, we can anticipate some of the apps and services that it will enable, but history tells us there are far more we haven't even thought of yet. So you all could not be in a better place and at a better time to build the next generation of AR apps and services. And we couldn't be any more excited to help you do it with Euphoria. So thank you so much for your time and enjoy AWE.